All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article titled, Husband Secretly Plans to Divorce Pregnant Wife as He Claims She Baby Trapped Him. And in this article, you're going to see his story where basically this guy, he was married for about eight years. He had two kids already. One of them was a newborn. And his wife always wanted to have two children. But he didn't want to. He only wanted to have one. However, he compromised, or at least, let's be honest here, he caved and had two. And so he has two kids. He's going through the now having the, uh, the baby and all the sleepless nights and, and all the headaches associated with having a newborn. And now his wife wants to have a third. And, of course, that's where he draws the line and says, no fucking way. I can't do this anymore. And, of course, he throws a whole bunch of drama his way and all that. And then, magically, within a short period of time, she happens to be pregnant again. Even though she claimed that she was on birth control and he was wearing condoms. I mean, he was, you know, really taking all the precautions. Still, magically, she got pregnant. And this guy, he, as you're going to see through this article... He finds out that, guess what? Surprise, surprise, this wasn't an accident. This was deliberate and well-planned. And now he's now he's on the hook for yet another child. So he that's it for him. He's out of there, so he's planning this. So I'm going to go through this article. You're going to hear, you know, from his perspective and all that. But before I do, I have a couple quick announcements. Uh, first thing is, is that in the next four to five weeks, I'm going to be setting up a uh, podcast where I'm going to be transferring all the best videos I've done, the audio portion, into podcast form for iTunes, SoundCloud, whatever. Because I know I've gotten a few emails from you guys asking if I would do that. And I'm doing it to give you guys some options in case you guys don't want to do YouTube and just want to listen to it, you know, on your way to work. And the other reason I'm doing it is because also, honestly, it's a backup plan. And that way then, given the environment we're in right now, where in this day and age... Everybody's offended about everything. I don't want to wake up one morning and have my channel deleted, and then that's that. So this way then I'm going to have other options to continue on doing these shows and articles and things like that. So if you guys ever happen to, you know, in a month when I had this all set up, you ever go on YouTube one day and my channel is completely gone, go to the podcast, I'll still be there. Okay? And and I want to do this anyway, but i got to have an insurance because I've worked way too hard at this and... Given the environment we're in, it could happen. I mean, it's gotten re- really out of hand because all these channels are being shut down and everything like that. And the second announcement is also in the next four to five, maybe six weeks, I'm also setting up a Patreon channel as well. And there I'm going to be doing three exclusive videos each week where I can talk about whatever I want. I don't have to use you know code words because, you know, in these videos, whenever I talk about feminism, i got to use... I got to use code or any other subject that could potentially get me flagged. I got to use code, and honestly, it's a giant pain in the ass. And also, on Patreon, I can go over the certain articles that there's no way in hell I would do here on YouTube because that would definitely cause some issues. So that's coming soon. I'll make the announcement when everything's done and ready to go, so you guys can check that out if you want to. But even when I do all that, I'll still be doing YouTube every day. So, okay, guys. So anyway, back to the article. Again, the title is, Husband Secretly Plans to Divorce Pregnant Wife as He Claims the claims She Baby Trapped Him. Starts out saying, The man took to Reddit to ask users for advice after his wife baby trapped him and updates them a month later with secret plans of divorce. Says, A man has come clean about his secret plan to divorce his pregnant wife after he says she baby trapped him. The couple have been together for eight years and have two children together, a five-year-old girl and a two-month-old boy. Man, talk about a handful. He explained that whenever they had spoken about kids before, his wife had always told him she wanted two, even though he only wanted one. But he compromised after she said the child should have a sibling. Yeah, I say he caved. After having their son and years of sleepless nights with their son, the dad said he didn't want to go through it again. Who can blame him? Two kids is enough. This world is... you got eight, almost 8 billion people on the planet. We don't need any more fucking people. This is crazy. You know, the people always whine and complain about the environment, you know, but then again, people keep breeding and breeding and breeding. And these same people that whine and complain about it, they want to have more kids. 
And the more people you have, the more resources have to be used to build homes, more um, land needs to be used to grow crops, have livestock, which really causes issues of pollution and damage to the environment, and more factories just to build stuff. And all the crap we buy and have in our houses and just the crap we give as gifts and all that. Too many people on this planet. But that's something that no politician is ever going to want to tackle because people will be going after them with, with uh, torches and pitchforks. It says here, So when his wife sat him down and told him, We have to have a third, he refused. And she accused him of ruining her dream of wanting a big family. Can you imagine that scene where he's trying to, saying, Look, babe, Two's enough. I can't do more than two. Let's live our life. Let's be happy, comfortable, da da da. And she's throwing a tantrum and getting emotional, and you're you're ruining my life, and blah blah blah. Meanwhile, at the end of the day, yes, she's gonna have to carry this child. I get that, but at the end of the day, he's gonna be responsible for paying for the child and all that. And you know, I got friends that have multiple children, and believe me, they're exhausted all the time, especially the ones with young children. Just yesterday, I was seeing a buddy of mine. I haven't seen him months. And um, I, was in, I was in the area near his house seeing a personal training client. And his daughter was there. And it, this subject came up. And he has one child. And, he, and his wife asked him. She said she would have done it for him having another child. But he was so wiped and exhausted. Both of them, honestly. But the first one, they never wanted to do that again. But imagine two, let alone three. Uh-uh. I am so glad I never went down that path. Then, his wife confessed she always wanted to have four children. A few, a few days later, she apologized and the couple had sex. She said she was on birth control and he used a condom. He came up from work one day while the kids were with their grandparents and found his wife dancing for joy, joy while holding a positive pregnancy test. He said, my, thir my first thought was, oh shit. I got to tell you, I would be thinking a lot more than, oh shit, if that happened. I'd be probably cursing like uh, Tony Montana if that happened. My dad, quick story, my mom had me, and that was supposed to be it. Because my dad in a previous marriage had five other kids. And then, lo and behold, uh, a couple of years later, my mom tells my dad that she's pregnant with my younger sister. And apparently my dad freaked the hell out because he didn't want to have yet another child. And apparently he just lost his shit for an hour. And my mom was crying and carrying on. And then my dad came back, calmed down, said, all right, we'll deal with it. And, you know, honestly, there's a part of me that always wondered, was this on purpose? But obviously I'm not going to ask my mom this. And so you just never know. But after she told him her plans of converting the office into a room for the baby, he was suspicious because everything was so well thought out and it seemed like she'd been planning this for a while. So when she was asleep, he took the condoms out of the cupboard and ran them underwater and was horrified to discover holes. So this doesn't just <clears throat> excuse me, this doesn't just happen in situations where a guys dating a woman and this happens. This can happen in marriages. I have a cousin who had two boys. And after the second one was born, he went and got a vasectomy. There's no way in hell he was going to have a third. But this happened in a marriage. Not cool. He then managed to guess his wife's new phone password. She never had one before. And found messages to her best friend complaining she couldn't win him round on having another child. Her friend then suggested she could arrange an accident. So the furious dad, he woke his wife straight up and asked if, if it really was a miracle. He said she got that deer in the headlights look and burst into tears. It's funny when um, women have no other options, a lot of times they start crying. And it, generally most of us guys, we fall for it. Like that, they can pull on the tears. <laughs> a month later, the man posted an update to Reddit telling users he's secretly planning a divorce. Oh, excuse me. I missed a part. Uh, he, asked, he went on Reddit and he asked users, what do I do? 
I don't know if I should leave her over this. I don't trust her anymore. She entirely betrayed me. I'm angry, but I have to have an, I have another child on the way. Yeah, I don't blame this guy. I mean, she did betray him. Very diabolical in this process. And now he has to raise a third child. And, you know, okay, what's done is done. Well, first of all, I mean, in this day and age, I'd want to know if that's my child. But second of all, you know, he's going to end up having to raise his child. But at that point, you can't trust her. And I'd be so fed up, I'd want to be out of there too. But the guy's going to be responsible for those kids no matter what. He said, anyway, that brings us to today. I'm back on civil terms with my wife, and I started acting like everything's okay between us. His quote is saying, she's happy. The kids are happy and excited for their new sibling. Everything's going great except for the divorce being planned. I got the evidence, and I got the lawyer, and I'm preparing to present her with papers. I've talked to my lawyer about how it's going to go because of the quarantine and where we are, technology is being used. Online documents and video conferencing, this thing called ADR, Alternative Dispute Resolution. So that's pretty much it. I've got all my ducks in a row. My wife doesn't know anything. I think I'm doing fine, but I have a lot of doubts. Well, he may think she doesn't know, but believe me, women are a hell of a lot more, a lot smarter than guys give them credit for. So that guy better be careful and thinks he's going to get away with this scot-free in terms of planning the secret divorce. But I wish him the best on that. I mean, he's going to have a lot on his plate because of obviously two children and a third one on the way. But I hope he's going to be a good dad to those kids and obviously the newborn when it's born. But don't give her the time of day anything beyond what he has to do for the kids and all that. He says here, every day when we go to bed, she kisses me, and when she thinks I'm asleep, she always whispers about how she loves me. Waking up next to her is sad because I know time is running out. She always makes me breakfast in the morning. She hugs me all throughout the day. She's happy and close with me and thinks all our problems are solved, and I feel so guilty with what I'm doing. He's feeling guilty because, well, obviously he's been with her for a while, and obviously there was something about her that got him to marry her and all that. And he, he, she's obviously putting on the royalty treatment. You know, whether she, not, whether she feel, feels guilty or not, who knows? Everybody's different. But honestly, she obviously, we know what she did. She knows what she did. So, but um, I can see how this guy in some ways, because she's putting on the royalty treatment and being sweet and all that to him, that he feels guilty. But at the end of the day, she, she betrayed him. She lied to him. You know, this was very well planned, obviously. He had to get out. But also, this guy needs to go get, get a vasectomy. So the next chick he ends up with, because a lot of these guys end up moving on to somebody else, that he doesn't have a fourth child that he has to deal with later on. Article ends with him saying, It just feels like everything's going so smoothly. The kids are enjoying quarantine, and we're all doing stuff together as a family. And I'm just about to drop a nuclear bomb on all of this. Well... Again, it sounds like he's had a little bit of doubts, but he's never going to be happy, and he's never going to trust her again. It's, it's not going to go well. And also, sooner or later, that's going to come out in terms of his the dynamics with him and his wife. And if the kids grow up seeing mom and dad not like not loving each other, let alone not even liking each other, one day they're going to end up in relationships just like that. So best this guy bails. So anyhow, I thought that was interesting to read, and to, again to show you guys that this stuff type of stuff does happen, and it doesn't just happen if you're single and women pull that because they obviously want to have a child. This can happen to marriages as well. So beware, gentlemen. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time.